Hills. Will you bring me three Gun Hills, please? When did you open it? Six years ago. Six. Oh, so you won the championship the first year you were open. We said, hey, we might be hot to something over here. The menu is really developed into a lot more than just burgers. I love that lollipop. Chicken lollipops. Chicken lollipops. Can you put an order of chicken lollipops, too, please, for straight? That was my hint. Yeah. That's it. Get some chicken lollipops. This is Gun Hill IPA from the Bronx. The Bronx. Oh, wow, it's good. Very good. It's super hoppy like an IPA, but it's chocolatey like a stout would be. Rich and delicious. Rich and delicious. It's like my stout. <laughs> These are one of Stray's personal favorites. Seems to be world famous chicken lollipops. They're very cute. The problem with this, and I, I really am very almost embarrassed to eat this on camera because I have a gap, right? You have and a gap? I, I never noticed. Bite this thing and pull the bone right through my teeth. Uh, I think you should show. I don't care. I, 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 <laughs> look at that. It's magic. Would anybody like any corn? Tell us about the corn, Josh. Uh, this is corn. <laughs> with some fresh jalapenos, a little cilantro butter. Who's your favorite player growing up? Michael Strahan. Thank you. There we go. You win that burger title again, I'll give you a ring, I promise. To the soon to be seven time champ. Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers. We'll hear all about it if he wins. <laughs> Strahan has an early call for his morning talk show, but Capon and I still haven't gotten our fill. We're cruising down the Lower East Side. We're about to pass the one and only world's famous Katz's Deli. There's some things that are just a landmark and will always be part of the New York City landscape. And now we're on our way to Speedy Romeo, my boy Justin's place. He's got a pie called Pole's Boutique, a lot of Beastie Boys, and he's using Katz's pastrami. So it's almost like a Reuben on an everything crust. I don't know how anybody could say this isn't the greatest food city in the world. Lead the way, boss. Sitting in the house, Speedy yeah. Romeo himself. Yeah. Oh, I'm Amy, you good? How are you? I was telling them all about you. I said all wood fire, no I, gas lines. No? So my alley. <laughs> Dude, I'm very excited because you have your pizza oven painted like Eddie Van Halen's guitar. Okay. It's not a coincidence, by the way. Too many people uh, notice that. Oh, dude, I love that. Where did your love for wood-fired cooking come from? I used to work at a restaurant in Brooklyn called Romans, and they had a wood-burning oven. They didn't cook pizza. They just did roast fish, meats, and things in the oven. That's where I realized that this sixth element of flavor is something you can't achieve without wood fires. Oh, you my know? God, look at that. <laughs> That's his pastrami. This isn't a bad thing to have in the low boy every no. day. What's your whistle there? How cool it is magical. <laughs> Oh Do you want to try it on a pizza? Yeah. Let's find a little Paul's Boutique over here. Check this out. Tell me a little bit about the dough. So it's a 48-hour ferment, double-zero flour, high-gluten flour mix, more okay. double-zero, fresh yeast, water, salt, a little bit of olive oil, that's it. This is a Dijon bechamel. Okay, but I have a bad feeling I'm going to be here often. Uh, this is the kind of uh, food that calls your name in the middle of the night. Wow, you're not shy with the pastrami either. No, you've been to Katz's. You Absolutely. know what they feed you. We asked them if we could put this on the menu, and they said, sure, but we just have to taste it first. And they were like, oh, my God. This is a smoked red cabbage kraut. So we take whole red cabbage, throw it into the wood-burning oven, and then just char yeah. black in the whole outside. And then we cut it with then just regular sauerkraut. So this is a little bit of fontina. Now, here's the fun part. So this is an egg wash. We're going on the crust. And then this is everything bagel spice. Oh, come on. This is going to take, what, about 90 seconds? Pretty much. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, God. Lower East Side, in a nutshell. And to finish it off, house-made Thousand Island dressing. Okay, but I've eaten so much today, and I'm going to eat this whole pie, too. Voila. That's it. Oh, I'm, I'm on that. Come on. Yeah. Look at that. Is that not sexy? That's everything that food is supposed to be. Look at that. The most important thing about this pizza is it somehow has left the both of us speechless. Which, if you've been following today's show, is almost impossible to do. <laughs> this crust is unbelievable. I mean, it has texture, it's light, and I'm not sure. And this is not Let's finish this at the bar. Okay. Before we go there, I want to put a little something from my soul, a little Kansas City. Yeah, I see Louis. those ribs hanging out over there. You gotta try these ribs as well. So, so let me you're a St. Louis bar. boy? I grew up in Kansas City, but my dad grew up in St. Louis. All right. And so I did the commute all the time for family events and whatnot. These ribs are cooked in a St. Louis style, 